uh, we played, what was it called? I don't know, I can't remember. We, what, there was one show where we were just like, please call us. We want to know that someone's listening <laughs> that for a couple hours. And then someone eventually knocked on the door of the studio oh. and said, your phone's off the hook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Olympia's a small town, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something floating by. Yeah. In the shadow. We uh, zoom in, Dave. What do you think? Crinoid? Um, I think that used to be something <coughs> living. Oh, I was looking at the oh down there. Lower. Yeah. That's an interesting view from oh. Atlanta. It's like right in the headlights. Tail lights. Was oh, that tail lights? Yeah. But <laughs> have me nervous there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I can only follow so close. Yeah. why Bob's flashing his lights at you, you're tailgating. Uh, <laughs> nope. Too far. Found, I think we found the end. Yeah, moving <laughs> over. Bridge, Nev. Oh. They're getting blown Let's up. Let's add another three zero meters to this step, two nine zero. Two nine zero. I'm just trying to get over, and then we'll go back up. Oh, I see what's happening. I think. Do you reject this plan, Robert? No. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm easy. <coughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> like Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. Easy like Sunday morning. Is that Ruby Pilot song? <laughs> There's a lot of songs about Sunday morning. Right. Oh, yeah? What else you got? Sunday morning, rain is falling. Oh, oh. yeah. That's right. That's a good one. Sunday morning coming down. Ooh. Chris Christopherson's song, sung by Johnny Cash. Ooh. Sunday kind of love. Ooh. Mm -hmm. nice. A lot of Holothorian tracks. Oh, we haven't seen that jelly anymore, yeah? The Narco Medusa? Yeah. Mm. It's a really interesting rock. Right? Yeah, looking right in the... Is that the end of the tube there? The yeah, it must beat? be. It's pretty cool. <coughs> Hey Mike, can you um, elaborate on the purpose of Atalanta for our viewers, please? Yeah, the purpose of Atalanta is to absorb the the shocks uh, from the ship. So as you notice, Atalanta's camera is kind of kind of wavy. We go up and down with the ship, um, but this allows Hercules to have these really nice still uh, shots of what's going on and what they're trying to focus on. The other uh, major points of Atalanta is uh, to give the Herc pilot, Herc pilot uh, overview of what's going on outside of Hercules' uh, cameras, so they can't always see um, every angle, and Atalanta just adds another 
angle for them to look at and see what's actually in their surroundings. Uh, and last but not least, our uh, Atalanta gets these really nice shots of Hercules uh, where it's at in the surrounding areas. So kind of adds a, a uh, nice figure to, to keep Hercules in, in viewpoint. Can you throw on the manual heave comp? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Um, for everybody uh, tuning in, we have not only our um, ROV pilots, we have our navigator, lead video engineer, uh, biologist, watch lead, data logger, um, ready to answer your questions. So with any questions that you may have, send them in the chat, and I, your SCF, will relay those questions to the team for you. Did we lose, lose Thanks, this Annie. gauge screen? Oh, oh. Oh, well, there's a sponge, too. Ooh. I don't know what that sponge is. <laughs> no. We yeah, we shouldn't zoom nope. on that, too. Nope. We got it. Oh, is it polyopagon? It was just sleeping. No, yeah, there's I not think a big... We zoom well, in, I think polyopagon little. most likely. The favorite gauge screen. <laughs> I just about to use it. <laughs> ah. Ooh. Chrysogorgia? A fan Chrysogorgia, maybe. It does look like Chrysogorgia, yeah. Um. Uh, what was that fan one? Was I'm trying to remember the genus name. Oh, and that definitely looks like Polyopagon up there too. Yeah. And there's something a little bit under it. Yeah, this right here. Ooh. I don't know if we're gonna figure out what that is. Oh, what is going on? Snow. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look at that. Yeah, sure. Good. Hmm, I don't know. Looks like it's got kind of wings. Um, that coral that we just looked at, I believe, is Chrysogorgia stellata. Noted. Thank you. What thing do I look at for sponges? Oh, a periphera at the very end. Po yeah. Periphera. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's too many of them. All that <laughs> possible. I'm so looking at um, euplectelids. Okay. You oh, sorry, what were you saying, Annie? No, uh, so we have a possible um, ID from chat, or uh, Chrysogorgia crises, or Stellata, right here. Mm -hmm. If that's what you're... Yeah, oh. I, I was thinking it's uh, Chrysogorgia Stellata. Okay. Thanks. You get the sponge, we good? Well, I haven't ID'd it yet, but we can move on. Can yeah, we've been here for a while. We've been working <laughs> yeah, on <I> it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a rock. Okay. Great. Let's Perfect. Go from there. Maybe Regadrella. We get to start heading north. Mm. Roby, cool. disregard that. Science, anything you want to do here before the ship starts moving again? Uh, no. I'm good. Great. Bridge nav. I don't know. I'm wondering if it could be Atlantis. Uh, let's head uh, oh, three zero meters zero two five. Our old friend. <laughs> <laughs> we meet again. It does look like that. Okay. Possible Atlantis for now. Possible. Yeah. Sounds I'll keep working on it, but it's possible.
I think it's a glass sponge, but I'm going to check the demo sponges. Zero two five. Chip move just starting. Wow. Is this the mid-watch slump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, Jules is looking very intently at sponges slump. Ah. Uh, can acorn worms swim? Oh, okay. Can they? Kind of. They can definitely Hold on. wiggle. They get up in the water column? Or do they just wiggle across the surface of the sand? That's a good question. I've definitely seen them move. I feel like I've seen one. I've seen them like retract. Off the sediment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but the Nautilus Live archives can can tell us this. So they don't move like a holotherian. No. no, they're more like a worm and body shape yeah. and, and movement. You're right. Um, acorn worms move by cilia movements and body contractions. I don't know. I think it could be polyopagon. Really? <coughs> yeah, I just feel like the pattern doesn't make sense for euplectelid. Like, usually you'll see that, like, crosshatch hmm. pattern, you know? Okay. I'm cool with that. Okay. Okay. Question from our friend Marcel from Quebec, Canada, in regards to sponges. How do sponges reproduce? Do sponges come from spores or semina? Um, sponges spawn, so mass spawning. They'll release gametes into the water column. Um, they will be fertilized and then settle in sediment or on rock. But can, they surfaces. can also, like, pieces of them can grow yeah. into new sponges. I can't remember what that's called. But yeah, they can also... Fragmentation. Fragmentation, yeah. yeah. So, like, a piece of a sponge could break off and land somewhere, and then it could just create a new sponge. <laughs> um, it's They're similar to corals in that corals can reproduce sexually or asexually. Um, so corals will also um, release gametes into the water column. But one way that corals can recover from coral bleaching is if there's um, any like living cells remaining, um, they can um, duplicate and um, 
and recover sometimes uh, completely. And for our friend in Quebec. Quebec, Canada. Yeah, go get some good bagels <laughs> and some smoked meat. Oh, Ooh. poutine. <laughs> Please do that for us. <laughs> Salivating. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Please have some smoked meat for us. Unless you're a vegetarian. But those bagels, St. Viator bagels. Oh. oh my god. Bagels. I want a bagel. Uh, I'm stuck on poutine. Uh, Have also you tried poutine. like a bagel <laughs> with salmon and cream cheese? Ooh. Yes. And then yeah, just close I it. Want yeah. Yep. So good. But they're, they're the Montreal bagels, they got a big hole, bigger hole in the middle. Really? Huh. Yeah, but they're really good. And you just get a bag of huh. warm bagels. Oh. Oh, here's a dead sponge. So we're coming up this lumpy side of this uh, of this seamount. And Dead sponge. Dead sponge. Dead something. Dead something. And we're going to get on top of this uh, little lump that has been, these have been pretty good spots for us. They have steep slopes. They stick way up off the seafloor. I'm excited about what we're going to see when the next watch gets to the top of this. <laughs> 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 Are you doubting that we're going to move that fast? Well, <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> we're moving. <laughs> There's only so much I can do. <laughs> I don't have turbo. I think it could be, uh, I'm still on this sponge. I think it could be a raw salad. Oh. There is a chance. I may just leave this one to the experts. Bridge nav. We can add uh, five zero meters to the step zero no. two five. Oh, it's gone. So when the sediment gets like this, I write very dramatic entrances in the data log so that the data logger that has to report has something exciting to write about. <laughs> it's like a creative on the What are you writing? <laughs> okay. About uh. twenty minutes ago. Do you want to read it, Adam? Yeah. <laughs> and after a long 10 minutes of arduous work, moving through what appears to be an endless desert in the bottom of the abyss, the team encounters the first sight of hope, an encrusted rock. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I love this. Honestly, that, that's, Amazing. that's captivating. Oh, that is. Yes. That's just like copy and paste into the dive report. <laughs> Please feed me yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> what happens next? <laughs> Tell me more about this encrusting rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a... Uh, Mother's We're going to zoom on the encrusting rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sponge. Uh, that could be Bolosoma. Oh, Our favorite yeah. sponge. With eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 0.45 centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 4.5 centimeters. Yeah, I go Bolosoma. Yeah, when in doubt, it's Bolosoma. Cool, thank you. I love how Grafana gives us five significant figures on our 
decimal degree position. <laughs> like <laughs> this two inches of the seafloor <laughs> where we are. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Got a bamboo. Very cool. Zoom in, Dave. Nice. Yes, chat. The lasers are for measurement. Um, the lasers are 10 centimeters apart. You got to be a little at careful. Least 45 centimeters. Right now, they're hitting something that's well beyond the plane where that coral is. Look at the long leg on that one. <laughs> oh, and there's some of those mollusk worms. Yeah, um, aplicophorans. Aplicophorans. They're mollusks. Why do they like the base of the, yeah. the coral like that? Beats me. There's a Oh, oh, cool. Another sponge. Oh. I forgot my sponge list. That, that was looks such a like helpful a list. Fairy a, I. A fairy a day, or however you say that. Yeah. Ferea. Ferea? Come on. There's too many Zoom variations. <laughs> Actually? Don't tell me it's something Hold about on. I'm going to give up on sponges if it's just something. <laughs> <laughs> sponges are hard. This looks like for real. So many of them. It's that at the top. They all look really similar. Look at the little webs between the doohickeys there. The doohickeys. Yeah. It's pretty neat. <laughs> um... I would maybe leave it at a uh, family level for it. Mm, noted. All right, we got it. Thank you. Oh, you're saying Atlanticam? Like the daisy chain? I helped doing that today. Did you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> nice work. Oh. oh. I was oh. very very slow but tj had a lot of patience oh miss tj hall of thorium you guys remember quarter tj yeah. yeah he was telling me how slow you were no i'm just kidding <laughs> 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 <I knew it. laughs> that's an interesting looking hall of thorium. oh and there's a crazy gorget on the other side do you want to do the song zoom in dave crazy gorget <laughs> oh you. my gosh, that looks so much like a tongue. <laughs> oh, it does. Along this line, um, how do deep sea predators find prey when it's completely dark? Mm. Um. So deep sea organisms have ways of sensing things mm -hmm. other than um, by sight. Um, although some are sensitive to even very small amounts of light from like bioluminescence, for instance. But um, yeah, I mean, a lot of organisms uh, sense their world in ways that are very different from ours. So we saw, we've seen, in terms of predators, I guess we've seen chonicops. Right. Which seems to be like w lie in wait and maybe feel for water movement. Mm -hmm. And then, but a lot of the organisms down here are not predators. They're like filter feeders. They stick to the rock and wait for food to come to them.
And that takes a lot of patience, honestly. You wait for the food instead yeah. of hunting yeah. for your food. Yeah. Um, you also may notice that a lot of things are um, sort of like variations of different red colors. Right. Um, and that's because in the deep sea, in the absence of um, red light, um, they're essentially invisible. Nice, a little squat lobster friend. Carry it on. Carry on. There's a bit of current going up, isn't there? Small guy. <laughs> it really does look like a tongue. Look at yeah. that. Oh, there's also a question. So why do we keep finding whale fossils, um, but not other, not fossils of other organisms? Um, it may have to do with the density of the bones that we're finding. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like we are finding what pieces of the, the jaw Rostrum, yeah. Um, they're also, you'll notice, uh, or may have noticed, encrusted in ferromanganese crust, um, and and have fossilized, Good. which has preserved yeah, them. Floating up there. It's um, a sponge on the on the wall. Uh, so yeah. some things are yeah. are better preserved sponge than others, and right. it also helps yeah, that they're nice large and we can here. see them well. Um, they're maybe more fossils buried in layers of sediment that we're not seeing. Um, autoliths, uh, it's a, a part of a fish ear. Uh, those are really well preserved, and that's something that um, the researchers will look for in um, sediment samples. Awesome, oh, thank you so much. That's Ooh, so that's, oh, that's not good Alex, right? Yeah, zoom in, Dave. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Can we take a look at that white coral down below, too? Yep. Can you zoom in on that one? What is going on here? Huh. Wait, I wait, what? I do not know is what this is. Is that a sponge? It looks like on a sponge a on a coral. coral? Encrusting yeah. sponge on a coral? What? I have not seen anything like that before. I <laughs> I'm confused. It's like a super hard spot. Should we ask yeah. Robert to sample it? If you could sample it. <laughs> I would <laughs> ship this out. Okay. Oh no. <gasps> There's a really great view of the precariousness of the situation in Adelaide. <laughs>
Can you push the basket out, I think? Basket or you want drawer the drawer or, or the porch? Porch. porch sorry. Okay. Porch coming out. Porch extending. Porch is out. Hmm. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> is it too high to land down below and reach up? Or? Kind of. Maybe so. But it's a little hard to tell. There's a bit of overhanging there. Uh, Let's see how well we can camera. auto XY on this thing. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it with that though. Can you come down? Or uh, are you on the cliff? I'm in single digits on a cliff. All right, well, All right. you know what? Move it. it on. Move it Moving on. on. Connor thinks it's a tretoplura. I'm just confused by the stock. A, yeah, because the ship's like, still trucking here. Yeah, no worries. Well, but it's way up. It's way up there, though. It's not. It's not in a friendly zone. Yeah, the way back's pretty big today. Not this up. And some Chrysogorgia on top. Oh. And anemone. It's a pretty cool spot. I like it. Can we zoom on this, please? Oh. Can we zoom in, Dave? What is that? Looks like a uh, big... It's a black coral. Yeah. Hmm. Parental patties? No. Uh, patties? No. Patties. I think it's... Sorry, give me one second. Something pathy? It's in the family Schizopathidae. I'm looking up the genus name right now. Alternopathies. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alternopathies, alternata. Right. It has like the alternate branching between. Yeah. Oh, great still cam shot. Zoom in some more, Dave. Nice. All right, we're cool. Thank you. Oh, chat wants to know anything you are prohibited from taking samples of, of on dives? Uh, I don't think there's anything that's prohibited, but there's certain kind of policies or best practices that mm -hmm. we use like if we only see one of something try not to sample that right try to sample 
pieces rather than entire organisms. Um, those kind of things. So is there a limit to how much we can sample per dive? There is, there okay. is, but we wouldn't come close to to that limit. Oh, okay, think. thank you. And the, that limit is defined by our uh, permit, because so we do have to get permitted to, to work here from the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument, although we're not in the monument, we Come follow that wall. that right. permitting. So that, you know, one thing about that is that planning an expedition like this is like a huge effort that right. you know goes on for you know roughly a year, um, not just figuring out who's going to be on board, but working with the kind of uh, cognizant agencies that would do the permitting and all that kind of stuff. Oh, looks like another anthemastus. Uh, there? Maybe some old hold fasts. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. <coughs> oh, there's oh. another uh, variad. Sacocalyx. Or sacocalyx. Sacocalyx. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. <laughs> Uh, you want me to bring the back. porch back in? Or you brought I think already? It is already. It's in. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. goes. What the? That was like the joystick equivalent of banging out with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. Ah. Sometimes yeah. it works. <laughs> Whack on the side of a TV screen. <laughs> 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 it's so much harder these days. You really got to aim. You know, Alvin used to have black and white CRT monitors in it. <laughs> Little bitty ones. <laughs> Jeez. And we did a IMAX movie. And the IMAX cameraman sat in the pilot's viewport. And I had to sit over in the passenger seat and drive from there? Drive from that <laughs> little black and white monitor and looking out the side window. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> and we're driving around the hydrothermal vent. Oh gosh. <laughs> god. I was about to say I hope you wouldn't have to drive near any vents, but nope. Yeah. That's a nice sponge. Volcanoes of the Deep is that uh, oh, nice. IMAX. I've seen that film. one. Yeah. Is this the same sponge we saw before? Yeah, uh, actually. Or is this a new one? No, I think. We're not oh going no. in circles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that was my real question, no. Samantha. Thank oh, you. This looks like it could be uh, Le Froyella. Oh. <laughs> no, but I think. It sounds so fancy. Is that a little crawl to the left there, too? But do you see those um, pink things? Yeah. They have. Uh, like anemones associated with them. Oh and they're yeah. so Cute. like evenly spaced. Ooh. It's so cool. <laughs> I think they're a family of the Venus flytrap anemones. Like a very really? small version. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh, 
Oh, a little floater. A little tube worm there on there as well. On the bottom. This is a good example of a symbiotic relationship. Wow, that's a cool photo. Looks like there might be a chrysogorgid below it, too. Oh, look at that. Oh, sea star. Oh, sea star. Tracks 10 centimeters. The lasers are 10 centimeters apart, oh. and um, it is used for measurement. The um, chrysogorgid is Chryses, C H R Y S E I S. Or Stellata. Chryses or Stellata, it's hard to tell. Okay, noted. There's a lot going on here. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's a chrysogorgid. Lost the hydraulics Lata. again. Going on up it. there. <laughs> well. Engineering <laughs> troubleshooting. <laughs> it's kind of hard to go and check a valve right now. Yeah, <laughs> gotta call in Bobby Argus. <laughs> uh, there it is. Oh it is. my god. <laughs> and it's right back there. Come on, valve, you gotta make it one more dive. He's Dwight listening. One more dive. <laughs> <laughs> One more dive. <laughs> I meant this dive, but <laughs> <laughs> I see we'll take any opportunity we can get. <laughs> awesome. Uh. Hey, we haven't added to the gallery in a while. Oh, wow. That's, That's right. Very true. Well, we were waiting for it to break so we can fix it. I believe Samantha should make us more um, inspired drawing <laughs> for our last dive. Okay, I think so. See if we I can get my waypoints together. I we have word. some time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might if uh, this hydraulics issue isn't. Uh, you want me to go get anyone? Yeah, not yet. All right. Hmm. Oh, wow, yeah. Thank you for your questions, questions chat. We'll get to them in a little bit. Yeah, I um, think that's... Oh, doesn't no. look like Militaris. Uh, maybe actually. I think it could be Pleurogorgia militaris. Pleurogorgia militaris. Noted. Yeah, let's You notice I just here. repeat what Jules says? <laughs> 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 oh no, I noted like on the data log. Yeah, do you note that I'm just repeating her? Possible <laughs> <laughs> Pleurogorgia. Militaris? Uh, Chrysogorgia or Paragorgia? Hey, say Pleurogorgia. Say something else smart. <laughs> wait, wait, can you repeat that, Jules? Oh, yeah. oh Pleurogorgia Militaris. <laughs> I mean, we've, you know, it's obvious when you look at it. <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Noted, Adam. <laughs> Thank you. C. Schmutz Associate. S. C. S. C. H. S. U. T. C. I'm gonna put it on the log for Shrub. old times memory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we want to go look at that. Yeah, the big large one. one. Oh, 
I'll have an ID for that as soon as Jules <laughs> figures it out. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your ass. <laughs> but you can note that it's on a very big boulder. <laughs> Adam, what would you say the texture of that is? Uh, cruddy. <laughs> <laughs> trying to remember the ones we talked about days ago. Swiftia. No. Uh, <laughs> I think a sponge, it's I think. some sort of bamboo. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Inter and it's internodal. Inter yeah. Wow. That's cool. I would note it as Caratoisa today, internodal. Thank you. No associates that I've seen. No so associates. Far. Seems like a good spot. Um, possibly keratoisis. I bet that one's pretty old. These large corals are so impressive. Something orange there. We good on that one? Yeah, we're good here. Thank you. Hey. What's no move? move. Oh, no move. We're looking at this rock. Boulder. Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that um, sponge? That thing from SpongeBob. It's like, uh, it's not a stupid boulder. It's a rock. <laughs> no, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I love that you made the intonation <laughs> and everything. Uh, that's a long whip. Bamboo whip? I would assume bamboo. Has like little knobs. Interesting looking coral. Really sparse in some places. Oh, oh. Rhodolian! Protease! Oh, oh, yeah! Minesweeper! scraggly. This keeps going. Yeah. That's a great shot. All right, we're good. Okay, we have our chat tuning in. Uh, what is the sediment made of? Um, you know, I haven't looked too closely at it, but a fair bit of <coughs> um, 
kind of marine snow kind of material, so little shells of, of uh, forams and things like that. I, you know, there could be the laser folks were measuring silica. Right. Um, but there's not, there's just not a lot of erosion, so that would probably be like silica tests of, of organisms. Thank you. And then this is um, another question about um, mapping. So if all the oceans are mapped by 2030 as planned, how will an expedition like EV-147 be different? How will our jobs change, per se? Ah, that's a really good question. So we devote some portion of our time to mapping on all these cruises because right. there's gaps remaining to be filled. Um, sometimes we'll even go over an area that has been mapped if it was mapped with a much older system just to get uh, kind of newer data, higher resolution data. But I guess my hope is that we'll have an AUV on board oh. and we'll do high resolution mapping of areas before we dive on them and, you know, we would know ahead of time that these giant boulders were here because we'd have kind of high resolution data and we'd say, all right, we're going to go from this boulder to that boulder and, and that kind of thing. So if we get it fully mapped, then we can try and go in and map it better. Huh? Looks like we're approaching another Sacocalyx. Oh, yeah. Boulders, yeah. Or Sacocalyx, <laughs> depending on where oh you're from. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have I converted you? <laughs> I think we ought to create a line of 3D printed sponge forms <gasps> for Ooh. home decor. Will you 3D print me a sponge? Yeah, we need to, yeah. Okay. I mean, if we can find a 3D model of a sponge, then... Oh. Well, you can make yeah. we can make one here, yeah. But the modeling part is pretty labor-intensive. That's so sweet, Paula. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might even be able to do it with, like, images from the... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on doing that, but we're getting pretty good with that kind of software now. Yeah, it, it's amazingly straightforward to make a 3D model from images now. So if you get a model, we could print it. Yeah. I'm going to check. Maybe someone has these 3D models already. There's a group called the Hydrus that does a lot of 3D coral models. Oh. I don't know if they've expanded into sponges. Ooh, Hydras? The Hydrus. H-Y-D-R-O-U-S. Oh, Hydros. Yeah. But mostly shallow water corals. I don't think they branch out into deep sea. Oh, OK. I don't I know if to. Dan's going to share any of his plastic box material with you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I found several 3D models of, like, kitchen sponges. Oh. <laughs> really? Well. Uh-huh. Why would you do that? <laughs> They're probably for, like, putting in video games and stuff, you know? Pranks. Huh. Prank and your Bari mom has a 3D, 3D model sponge. of a sponge community. I think uh, deep sea sponge models is a niche we could uh, <laughs> we could fill. For folks listening, there is a 3D model of the ship Nautilus that you can 3D really? print. I 3D printed one, and it came out great. How large is it? The one I printed. As yeah. large as you make it. Yeah, mine was like six inches long. Wow. You can scale it as big or as small as you want. Do you print me a mini <coughs> EV Nautilus? Yep. That's what I've decided on. Okay. 
I've thought long and hard <laughs> <laughs> for the last awesome. 12 seconds. <laughs> so those models are on the Nautilus Live website under the Education tab in Education uh, uh, Resources. Okay. How so there's also a Lego Hercules. Ooh. An augmented reality sandbox with Whoa. mapping overlays. So cool. There's a lot in there. Midwater and seafloor bingo. All Lego, Lego Hercules. Lego Hercules. Like Although official? No. Uh, unofficial, official. <laughs> you can. There's a proposal. To well, make you can. One. Yeah, exactly. You can submit yeah. your ideas, and then they yeah. post them on their website. Uh, but it, to be fair, it is actually the former Hercules uh, <coughs> form. So since we've. What did Corey Verhine did submitted one for Jason? I think. Uh, yeah, but. It didn't get made into a legit Lego either, right? No. I voted for it, though. Yeah. There's a square rock in Adelaide Cam. It's the one we just passed over. Oh. Just sure so we are going in circles. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that move is ending. Do, is there anything we want to do here before? Well, we've got 15 minutes for the other groups here. So keep going. Keep going. Bridge now. Onward. Nap. Sure you don't want to take a sample? Not until we're just getting the ship accelerated. <laughs> Three zero meter is zero two five. Nope, no push core, no EDNA. <laughs> no, we could maybe could have done one at that last spot. Yeah. With EDNA. I forgot about Edna. How sturdy are the 3D models? Uh, pretty sturdy. Okay. They don't break easily? No. Okay. Cool. What are they, they made of? PLA? PLA, yeah, uh, that's what I generally use, or PETG. So PLA is like a corn-based plastic. Ah, oh, okay. I thought it was an algae-based. Uh, I think maybe. <coughs> no, it's corn. It's corn? Polyactic yeah. acid. Polyactic. Nice. <coughs> Tastes horrible. Very crunchy. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> it's a bummer. Well, it is food safe, so. Food safe doesn't mean mouth safe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean it doesn't get body safe. Safe. doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't leach the plastic into your Correct. food, right? <laughs> it's not coming back to the party, though. Ooh. Start by chat. Annie should about make. Turn oh, off the one flows. I mean, well, let me uh, cycle the. I was going to suggest, uh, but I know they're talking. Should have stopped. Yeah. Okay, I can wait. I was just going to suggest something. We're good. <laughs> Sorry. It did not work. I was just going to suggest that Annie should draw a Dumbo octopus because she draw one. Yeah, yeah, I heard you're an amazing artist. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw it. It was really I good. I don't see a yeah, gallery me, though, I contribution <laughs> from you. So okay. I'm just confused about this. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll submit. Okay, I'll submit. so <laughs> here you go. You can start working on that right now. <laughs> okay. Can we get a pen? Yeah, of course. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Um, check if this one works. Thanks, Adam. Huh. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, maybe it does. does it? Here? Yeah. Oh. So let's go relay isolation here. Which one did you turn off? Uh, the tester enable. Mm. So we have... Go off. So I got a bunch of dish soap on myself earlier. <laughs> um, that dish soap 
and the mess like squirts really far. Um, but it kind of smells nice. Like this oh. is the best I've smelled all month. <laughs> I was gonna mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It smells so fresh. Oh, the new perfume. Interesting. Is that starboard vertical? Yeah. Huh. And it's all better now. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> sort of all better. It's all better except we don't have a starboard vertical. Yeah. That's we don't need no stinking starboard <laughs> vertical. <laughs> 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 for the rest of the day. That's interesting. Yeah. That was the only one? Well, that's, that's fixed the problem, so. We're gonna run with it. Huh. You cycle it or did you just leave it off? I just left it off. I can try putting it back on. Well, I did cycle it once, I think. Doink. Yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, found. Found it. All better. Yay. Write that down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Are you able to... To deal with it? Mostly continue? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready for another move then? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> so certain. Thank Bridge you. now. Three zero meters, zero two five. So, Robert, when you send a command to go <coughs> up or down or forward and the starboard vertical is off is that <coughs> understood by the command and control well or it just doesn't enable that valve so it's only enabling the port vertical so but if if does it does the computer think that it's on i guess when it tries to move the vehicle uh the yeah the computer doesn't know anything about the actual like whether it's spinning Whether or not, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's just a proportional valve. Yeah. And, and by disabling that, it's uh, just not controlling that valve anymore. Okay. Just leaves it closed. But I mean, it doesn't really affect us, except we don't. We're not going to go up and down as fast, right? Right. So if we if we had like a lot of buoyancy offset, then that might be an issue. But mm -hmm. we, we don't. What I'm hearing is you need some rocks on board. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I I just actually is that the kind I, of offset you were talking about? I kind of hear that when whenever anyone says anything, like, <laughs> we need rocks. Bu buoyancy adjustment equals yeah. rocks. We don't, we don't need rocks. <laughs> We can get rock support. We just don't need the rock. <laughs> All right, you heard him. We need rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, the deepest we've um, gone with the ROV is about 3,100 meters, correct? Well, yep. that's, that's kind of exciting. And big Hercules Actually. can dive to about 4,000 <laughs> I mean, meters. And Atalanta an can dive deeper with 6,000 yeah. meters. You can't fix it if it ain't broke. But the deepest we went is 3,100 it's meters. It's not broke. Yeah. Was it, did you try the other ones or was it just? Uh, I mean, I could. I'm just kind of curious if any of the others trigger that too. It's still on. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So that if I just turn off the port vertical and see it's still. Yeah, yeah. Still Maintaining. Yeah. It's uncalled for. Yeah. Laterals? 
Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, God, I'm going to turn off that. <laughs> What's the THR? Thruster return. We don't want to turn that off. What's that do? It disables all of them. Oh, yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, very clearly, starboard vertical. Yeah. At least now we can slurp things. No. Nope. <laughs> we, we can do Huzzah. everything. If you're going to lose a thruster, that's an okay one. Except for coming up. It's going to take yeah. forever. No rocks. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe we can reverse the slurp. Those poor guys on the 8 to 12 shift tomorrow. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to suffer. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Them. Yep. <laughs> we'll be recovering by 8 p.m. tomorrow, right? That's the plan. Yeah. So the 4 to 8 will suffer on the ascent. <laughs> <laughs> the slow, <laughs> slow ascent, and then we'll take over right at the end. I felt joy in <laughs> Samantha's <laughs> voice. Yeah, we'll just bring it home. Be like, all right, you guys are out of here. We'll, we'll take it the last six inches. A <laughs> <laughs> little, little bit of an evil laugh at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Adam, so this is your last watch of this expedition. You're going to miss all of our watch tomorrow, Adam? Well, mm -hmm. I'll show up at some point. Yeah. Drop a few jokes. <laughs> yeah, can you actually write out some Come jokes? On. Yeah, so I'll write them, them out. out. Yeah. <laughs> this is our last watch. Okay, I think I'm done. Will you have a replacement? Uh, no. Wow. Empty seat in the van. I could send Dwight up. We'll see. I think Juliana's just ready to, ready to do it, you know. I'm ready to fly. Ready to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me spread my wings, Samantha. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to replace a watch lead. Just like everyone's always excited to be in the van, so I figured someone would res isn't jump lower in. Than it usually is. Right? Emerson? No, the res is not. Yeah. The res is what it was before. Yeah, I got Emerson yeah. in here. Oh boy, <laughs> I would watch out. Not enough of a filter. Maybe a sticky. He's writing a book, you know. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh, What's what? that about? Um, his life. Oh. Brit. Bridge nav. Well, that just Let's do uh, five zero meters <laughs> zero two five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Is this it to find out? Yeah. To have an issue is one thing. Do it be able to troubleshoot it and at least pinpoint it down. Warms your heart. On it screen. does. It's <laughs> going to be miserable. It's like you can't like leave it yeah. in an unknown broke state. True. Like we just be, I don't know what we do. No, chat. This is not our last watch. We have one more watch. This is our last dive. Chaos crew will return. Chaos crew. <laughs> <laughs> the watch with many names has one more watch. One more sleepy morning watch. One more sleepy morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. Well, did the whole thing. See you guys. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Oh, what do we have for the gallery? Did you show it to the? We got to show it to the folks online. This is amazing. Look at that. Nice. Wait, Annie, you got to show it to the people oh, online. I want to see it. That's good. Oh wow. <laughs> so good. There's a camera there. Atlanta cam. You don't want that one. <laughs> it's not just pointed at you. It's not even pointed at Robert anymore. I know. It's just at me. Can we see it? Oh my god, it's amazing. Ooh. So, so that you cute. know when, when I kick up dust. <laughs> You can see your face. Should I <laughs> correct him? My like face of shame. <laughs> no, I, Amazing. I Thank you. Fun. Oh, jeez, I lost it. Where'd it go? So, you know, that was causing a lot of grief there. It sure was. I mean, like in general. I like know. Control-wise, it was, it just it was. 
not to, mention, not to mention the emotional burden. Yeah. Every day wondering why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also to have something that returns back to normal function and not have a resolution for it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's. I mean, we don't order. know what it's doing, but we know at least where it's who's at. Who's doing it? <laughs> He's throwing a monkey wrench in our party. We're having a party. Welcome. Oh, this is this is the party. <laughs> We've arrived. Do we still have popcorn, or are we out of that, too? <laughs> I have a secret stash, if you can't find any. You have a... S no wonder there's nothing. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> my own stash I brought myself. Thank you. Oh. I'm not a barbarian. I think they're called raccoons. <laughs> so good hearing that term thrown around. Also not bad. <laughs> Don't be a raccoon. I prefer Trash Panda, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was told by the cat sitter that the raccoons got into the cat food. Uh oh. <laughs> Miss Cat? Yeah. New Cat? No, Miss Cat. <laughs> Miss Catterson. Oh, her name has been changed. Yeah. I bought two cases of cat food and, and told the neighbor who's taking care of her to, that I was coming by Amazon and just opened a box. <laughs> and she took the box home. It was like heavy as heck. And she lives like oh, two no. blocks away. She's, oh, no. she's like 80 years old. Oh, so no. She humped the box over there at her house. Because she hadn't seen my message yet. Oops. <laughs> but then how did the raccoons get in her they house? They got the dry food. The, oh. The, a bag of backup dry food on the porch. On the porch? Yeah. That's why the raccoons can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have it until now. <laughs> She's getting closer to the house. LA has a lot of raccoons. I personally like raccoons. You do? I like them better than possums, I do. that's really? for sure. I like, I like possums, possums too. No, possums eat bugs and raccoons get in your trash and but the, bang the, around all night. The raccoons they wash their little hands and the possums they just like hiss at you. <laughs> yeah. Possums were not put on this earth for your enjoyment. But the Australian possums say. are pretty cute. And Australian very invasive. possums. And very invasive. Not, not invasive in Australia. Oh, sorry, New Zealand. Invasive in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Endangered in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> but they oh, found a new home. So and they're doing great. <laughs> they brought them over for the fur trade back in the day. Uh, let them go. Now they know natural predators. So. Because they're too cute. Too darn cute. Bridge now. Oh, they're adorable. I kind of <laughs> like that they hiss. Can we add Cats another hiss. three zero meters to zero two five? Oh, look how they carry their babies around. You're uh, you're not aiming us to waypoint two. What is happening? We're gonna get there. Okay, all right. <laughs> I fully the ship is going to waypoint two. Yeah. I do not care rogue, if we go to waypoint two. <laughs> ROV pilot. Rogue ROV. <laughs> if you pull hard enough, you can pull the ship over. <laughs> Good luck. Poor Atalanta just caught in the middle.
interesting line yeah it's right. a little downflow downslope transport kind of situation oh this looks weird <laughs> oh, thanks so much, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> I do not have an art account. What is it? Um, but yes, I do. I do draw on my downtime. <laughs> it's not my best work, but I was asked to make a show of the Association of America commemorative piece. <laughs> oh, that's my, my win. <laughs> Acorn worm. No way. No way. No way. What? Oh. It's because I put in a move. It's amazing. <laughs> 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 we have another uh, contribution. Oh, this is <gasps> Dave actually drew this. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's Samantha's. Oh. oh. That was my commemorative piece. <laughs> it's a non fungible token, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Association. She'll be small. selling it to uh, wait, small. Where does this start? Ship moves. Ship moves Association of America. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I want to see that. Uh, Jules. Oh, thank you. Whoa. This is like this year's highlight. Wow. I love that. Oh, it's so cool. Oh. We've been looking for you. <laughs> where have you been? Wow. Hey, wow. Still. Bet you wish you had that uh, starboard vertical. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt him to put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very strange looking organism, isn't it? Yeah. Look at all that sediment. Did we want to zoom in? <laughs> <laughs> closer. Yes. Closer. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks. Squeeze. That is just so strange. <laughs> Hmm. I'm trying to see the acorn part. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not still really. looking for the acorn. <laughs> look, look harder. Oh no! Not really giving acorn vibes. Oh no! <laughs> what does it remind me of? Like a like so a. So is it a type of a cucumber? No, no, it's a worm. It's an acorn it's a worm. worm. Doesn't it look like the face sucker from Aliens, kind of? This it would only be like the fifteenth thing we saw that looked <laughs> like a face hugger. <laughs> a lot of things in the deep sea look like that, huh? It looks like a sock puppet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. What did I say? With a worm was attached. Make sock to it. puppet. Out. A oh. sock puppet with a worm. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We got it. Carry it on. Carrying on. Yeah, we're hitting all the highlights in the, our past couple watches, huh? Yep. That's true. Oh, 
efficient. Is that a halosaur? Kind of dust up oh. there. Try not to. <laughs> Ooh, and a and sponge. A I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a foraid from yeah. here. Oh, and there's yeah, another... Uh, Tretoplora? Yeah. Is that what we're going with? Right. Looks, I'm happy with that. Come on up. You have that one? Ooh. Uh, Can we right. zoom on this? I think that's also Tretoplora. <laughs> <laughs> zoom in, Dave. Looks like there's another one to the right, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Did you still want a sample of this one? If we could, yeah. There's one on the right, Robert, so, that might be uh, closer to the sediment. But are we too close with our Atalanta? Yeah. Yeah. They're not in a good position. Okay. Yeah, we'll see it again. Okay. the kind of terrain they like anyway. Yeah. Well, the ship has stopped, so if we see it as you're trying to get ahead of Atalanta, we might be in a better spot for it. Oh, we have another submission for the art wall. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Chana Cops. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chana Cops. <laughs> Mr. Chana Cops. That's very cute. We're gonna need to do another Instagram takeover to show all the uh, the final result here. Should. Uh, silent, silent auction coming soon. Yeah, really. <laughs> Especially as apparently um, Renier, uh, who sails as lead navigator and mapping coordinator and expedition leader, um, he'll be out for the next cruise. And when he saw this, he said, but that's the wall for math. <laughs> <laughs> because we have like a math chart here, so oh. I don't know how long it will stay in our gallery. <laughs> Sometimes you must let things go. Yeah. I like the so. wall of math. Yeah. I mean, if we tape them all down, it might just be more effort than it's worth to remove them, so. <laughs> they can become a permanent installation. Ooh. I'm going to take a picture of that wall. Yeah, it's something. Price of gorgeous tools. Right up mm -hmm. above you, too. Geniculata. Yeah, large, large guy right up above you on the rock there. I read a gorgia. Ooh. Or was it just the stock? No. It's no, I there. think it's it's, it's there. there. Keep going. Oh, there's the base. Yep. See the shadow. There we are. Nice. Wow, that is beautiful. So beautiful. Magnificent. My name is Spirali Shoes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Which one's Will? <laughs> Beautiful. Wow.
It's another pearly cuscue? Yeah. Pearly cuscue. It's very light cuscue. Mm, what do we call when an organism doesn't have any pigment, like albinism? Mm -hmm. Could that happen to those, to these fish, maybe? I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> it has color a little bit, but uh, it seems to have a little bit of color. Yeah, I haven't seen one that light before. That's really cool. I think the deep sea is one of the few places that if you have that genetic condition, the albinism, you're going to be just fine <laughs> most of the time. Try not to. And for all of our folks tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being here as we explore GEO 10 together. Thank you for your questions and your words of encouragement to our team. Um, we have an awesome and experienced team on Nautilus to make sure that each dive is safe and successful. So if you have any questions, please send them in and I will relay them. Um, I will relay your questions to the team. Thanks so much for being here. I have a question mm -hmm. on our on our displays. Why do we have so many saying Zeus? Is it Hercules Zeus, the complete name of Herc? Zeus is the camera that's yeah. on Hercules. Oh, okay. How many cameras does Herc have? Uh, many. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, that's on our website. Let's see. Unless Robert can oh, do it off the top of his head. Wrong. Oh, probably. Five? I'm going to say five. What's that? Eight. Eight. Wow. Oh, I wasn't counting bubble cam. Yeah, bubble cam plus two uh, dual purpose circuits, so it's. Nine. 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 Yeah. Ten. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Where are we in our ship move? We have not moved yet. Um, we're letting her catch up a little bit hmm. and get ahead of Atlanta again. Huh. And when Robert's happy, he'll give me the thumbs up. I'm kind of feeling a little rocky. Yeah. Are you interested <laughs> in... Uh, <laughs> oh, another oh. two horns! Oh, no, sorry. Another acorn horn. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong name. Sorry. <laughs> acorn horn. Adam, are you interested in checking out one of these rocks? Yeah. They look real easy to sample. <laughs> I think they're coming off of these big boulders. Some yeah, and they don't oh. they don't look super crusty, which is good, so or maybe they are crusty, hard to tell. Yeah, I'll take one of them ten centimeter ones down there. Or wherever is convenient. In the middle of the cloud? Well now they're dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that one looks grabbable, or that one. That one actually looks like it might be bigger than. Oh no, I think that's okay.
For those inquiring minds, we have traveled. Please, 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 <laughs> please, 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 please. Four. <laughs> 400 what? meters. Yeah, but we, we... We got to the C4 at... Well, oh, yeah, that's true. Or right. Yeah, 930. That's pretty good. It's okay. Yeah. That option three? No, that I just apparently it doesn't restart after you. Oh, oh nice. Candy corn. <laughs> Excellent. Amazing. Thank you for this snipe. Dirty. This will be rock. sample 180. 180. 180. 180. Lucky number 180. Let's go uh, starboard uh, C, D, E, or F if we can fit it there. Ready right, for a sample? Sample salvo coming on. Ready for box. <laughs> Silver lining. Ready for box. Yeah. Box coming out. Is that a small bin or a big bin? Let me turn on your starboard port light. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Perfect. Close the box. <laughs> <laughs> this one might float out. Hold on. <laughs> hey. 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 Let's go. Starboard Let's C. go. Trey going back. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for your dive salvo? Jumpy there. <laughs> this button really needs some love. Uh, it's the debounce. <laughs> Is that what we called it? What'd you call yeah. it? Debounce. Right click is when you push it halfway. Ah. Uh, it works. <laughs> That's. I claim no <laughs> such thing. Is it a function or a Michael? feature yeah, or a bug? Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting 
you guys store stuff inside at the facility there? Yeah, there's some stuff in there. Mm -hmm. We also have a storage container. And my tool van. And the tool van. Still? Yeah, if you're ready to move, I'll put in another ship move. Or you want to get out in front of Atlanta again? Yeah. Uh, we'll probably stop again. Large rock ahead of you off the starboard. That I am hovering ahead. Whoa, yep. we got to get to the top of that thing. That I am hovering <laughs> above. Yeah. That's going to. There's going to be some good stuff on there. I bet. Wow. Pieces of Atalanta. <laughs> 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 Trying my darndest. Adam, we've got half hour left of this uh, watch. I just you you sated my you slaked my thirst for rock. <laughs> <laughs> he says that now. Yeah, heard it before. I am but a man. I can get thirsty again. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, big rock. There's a Chrysogorgia Tuniculata, and then mm -hmm. some. Something. I don't know what this Zoanthid is. Zoanthid covered thing, maybe. Seems that way to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a big rock. You can see over the top, though. Crying over. Ooh. Oh. Is that a... It looks like a Magna Spiralis. Yeah. Like a little baby one. Yeah, it hasn't spiralis yet. Oh. <laughs> Hasn't magnet yet. <laughs> yeah, it's spiralis. <laughs> it hasn't magnet. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look so impressive. Now. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty round boulder. That's really neat. Oh wow! If you look at it in Atlanta cam. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Nice shot. Looks like coming nice. out of Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> the boulder rolling down. <laughs> Probably did too. Yeah. Yeah. Is there an even bigger one behind it? I think Is so. There? Yeah. Looks like it. Looks like a raw salad sponge. Noted. I think. <laughs> Possibly raw salad as much. It says a stocked sponge. It looks like it could be a raw salad. It is not. Whoa. Nice. Yep. Um, so gorgeous. Emphatisella. My modified answer. Okay, loaded. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. got a lot of stuff coming up. Oh, and there's a the biggest one we've seen. Dang. Oh. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Large one way to starboard. Off your starboard side screen. Oh, there's even a little one right there. Or is that something? I think that's a Xena 504, if anything. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. This behind it? Yeah. yeah.
That looked really light. Yeah. Chrysogorgid, like. Like that white Chrysogorgid. Mm -hmm. Can we start by zooming over here, please? Did we have an idea on the large branching coal? Uh, not yet. I want to see it closer. Uh, there's a little skinny white coral there. It's right at the here. top of your... Oh, you went too far. It's right down there. Ooh. Yeah, that looks like a Chrysogorchid to me. Noted. Um, type? Not sure. Looks like the polyps are all on one side. The problem with it, it <laughs> is that all the little grooves are little bacteria havens. Yeah. Oh. No yawning on Mike. <laughs> it's gonna trigger it among everyone else. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> It's actually, I don't know if it, there's audio yawn triggers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just demonstrated. <laughs> we'll see if anyone watching at home yawns. <laughs> Man. What's, what's this one? It's going around. I don't, I don't have enough leash yet. All right. You can look at this little stick here. <laughs> okay, let's look at the snake. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Zoom in. Such biology ideas. Oh. Hello. Please be stickopathies. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably a primnoid with. That's a nice uh, <laughs> grab there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. Uh, actually. Bamboo? Bamboo. Yes. Yeah. Bamboo whip. Cool. Got to the bottom I would of that like one. to reset the GPS. Just resettled. You okay with that? Sure. Great. You zoomed out. This is like that's stable. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge nav. All right. Oh, I think that's a sponge down there. Yeah, it's weird. It's growing. Let's add another uh, two zero meters yeah. to the step. I feel like you don't. We don't really see that too often. No. It could be polyopagon. Oh. I feel like sometimes we see that in the sediment, right? Yeah, but it's it looks kind of vase like. Yeah, it does have like a tubular shape to it. It's totally tubular. It's extremely tubular. But look at that. Look at those spicules. Oh. <laughs> but it does look like, oh my gosh, how do I get rid of that? That's totally euplectella shaped though, at least from here. It's hard to see from 2200 meters away. <laughs> you zoom in, Dave. What? Huh. <laughs> is there a rock under there or something? Um, or is that a... Is there something inside of it? It looks like it. This is <coughs> odd. Can you go yeah, inside? Not at can, the current yeah, can we go inside? We need, I'm, I'm we need zoomed more in as, you got some leash. leash. Zoomed in as far as we can go. Yeah. Okay. We're, we got a little bit of leash. Do I? 
Yeah, a little bit. I can come down a bit. This is so strange. Zoom out, Dave. Maybe that should be the back of the shirt. The front of the shirt says zoom in, Dave. The back of the shirt says zoom out, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, Those are pretty rare, though, the zoom out. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's freestyle zooms. Yeah. I just drive Probably away. Any. I don't know. Which is totally cool. All right. Now we can zoom in, Dave. I, yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess it's Uplectella. There are some pictures here of Uplectella. It's in uh, soft sediment, so. Nice. Ooh. Oh, there's something weird in there. It's so there's hard to There's for sure focus something on. weird in there. And it's not just it's a little tentacles this time. Yeah, what is that? Oh, it beats me. What if we slurped inside the sponge? Huh. <laughs> you want that thing <laughs> there? Is it a uh, uh, sea mouse? Sea mouse. <laughs> is it a urchin? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, this is a new type of associate, maybe. It's really in there, though. Like, I feel like it wouldn't really be able to get out if it tried. Yeah, I mean, I think the only way would be to... Punch your way out. Oh, I was thinking how we would get it out would be to... Oh. We could get that out. We could slurp that out. Yeah, I'm just curious more than anything. It's not really like a priority. All right, let's let it be. Yeah, let's keep moving. What is it though? <laughs> 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 the world may never know. A slurp of curiosity. Yeah. No. Well, uh, we do have just like is a few it? minutes. We're not going to move. Right? No. What? I. Mm. Should we try for it? <laughs> I don't know. It feels a little bit wrong. <laughs> can we get any closer? No. Or why you can? Okay. What could go it. wrong? Let's try it. Should we? Yeah. Okay. Last dive. You know, <laughs> let's live a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's the encouragement we needed. <laughs> okay. I hope it's not sea schmutz. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. I don't think it is. So try to avoid slurps one and two if they have a fine mesh. All right. As a sample one eight one. Maybe. <laughs> what are we even gonna <laughs> call Possibly. this? Schmuck. 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 We could also. Schmuck. Schmuck. Uh, Singular. We could Singular. also. <laughs> oh. Just you the whole it? sponge. Oh, take I'll the whole sponge. sponge. Not the whole, but like half of it. What, yeah, what how do you want to do this? I was kind of joking with the slurping thing, but like, oh I gosh. feel like it could work. All right, what are we doing? Uh, <laughs> do you want to try slurping? Yeah, let's try slurping. I don't know how that's Yeah, if you don't need the sponge. No, we don't need the sponge. But if it comes to it, you can take the sponge. The 12 to 4 watch must be watching us downstairs going, what yeah. are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're down what there are they doing? being like, how can we be like them? <laughs> More <laughs> chaos. I like that attitude. 181. Oh, come on. Jules, oh, what sponge is this? Back there. This is a Euplectelid. Euplectelid. Thanks. Don't do that. Euplectella. Let me spell that. All right, number seven. E U, U U oh, Yeah. Thank you. 
Come here, you. It's not going to be easy. Okay. Hmm. Let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> hey, is, can you zoom in, Dave? We're really testing him here. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Samantha, your description is better than mine. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Cheyenne. Cheyenne, you, you, yep. you go oh, right in time. Can you try it? Suction coming on at 20. Section coming up to 30 and 40. Hmm. 50. Is it possible that that's sea schmutz that's inside the spicules and that's why it looks like there are tentacles? 60. Hmm. Um, could maybe. Tentacles? 70. <laughs> you want all the beans? All, all the, beans. the beans. All beans. I mean, 100. It's not coming. It's not. It's part of it. Is it really? I think it's part of do it. Do we have beans? Uh, oh, I don't, I don't see anything it's spinning what? around in that. Oh. Oh, it's driven it by like the starboard vertical. <laughs> oh, it's kind of oh. moving. Oh, yeah. uh, I think it's like a little bit trapped. It's definitely something. Like a polychaete, maybe? Yeah, it yeah. looks yeah. like that. Uh, looks like a wow, worm. it's strong. Oh, it's <laughs> 100% as long as beans. We're not Going through all of this Honestly, just for a shrimp. All right. This is that well, kind of sufficed. Let it go. I it's think a polyke. Yeah. Okay. Turn off beans. Beans are off. Live another day. <laughs> yeah, <it's polyke. laughs> huh. Thank you. All right. Well, for indulging us. <laughs> but it did. We did get an answer. We did get an answer. I can sleep tonight. Me too, Back to but only flush. for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You have your uh, interaction. That's tough. <laughs> I bet you're looking forward to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Penny's I, very I need happy to borrow that. some enthusiasm. <laughs> you look so excited. Up. Dang it. For everyone tuning in, we are now on watch change. Hey. Thanks so much for sticking with us as we explore GEO 10 together. Er, GEO 10 together. Um, stay tuned for more updates and highlights on nautiluslive.org. Thanks so much, um, <laughs> everyone. You all have been amazing. 8 to 12 signing out.
Are you good if I do it today? Thank you.